Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to discuss fear. And that's why I'm recording this in the in the daylight. I just a stick in the day, it's no night time. But anyways, I shall tackle the subject that I've always wanted to tackle in the video. Especially on the channel, Movie Mixes, oh wait, Mega Geniuses. Known as Childhood Trauma. And boy, I was a bitch. Childhood Trauma has been tackled in many sorts of videos. Definitely a lot. But I would like to take my own take on this. Look, fear is a lot of people's fear. What did I just say? But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that basically this is the stuff that scared me when I was a kid. And there's also some honorable mentions. But also, some of the stuff that I do mention in this is actually some things that I've also seen kind of recently. Like, some things still can creep me out recently. And basically, scary things that scared me. So, as we're going on to this list, I just want you to know, yes, there are a lot of things on here that are might be scaring to younger viewers. People who may watch my video. You know, don't you probably be fine. I don't know, I don't know what my age demographic is. Although Retrotron does explain a lot of things, but anyways, so yeah, see, so let's start with the list, alright, number 10. I'm not gonna do numbers, I'm just gonna mention them, fuck it. Also, I have a playlist known as The Things That Scared Me, But Not Now. Check it out, it's more. So, anyways, this is our first one in the list. Here we go, this is gonna be a bit to edit. Tombs, from The X-Files. Chris Stockland tackled this one as well, video of it, Childhood Trauma. But man, is Tombs really creepy and downright scary. Tombs is just really creepy. And first, Chris Stockman was also the one that led me to be afraid of them. <laughs> but anyways, the film, in the episode, known as, well, Squeeze, and also the episode named after him, Tomb, is definitely a creepy episode that you definitely should check out because it's really creepy and also quite scary. So anyway, Nick to the next one. The Gentleman from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I did watch Buffy for quite a while and I got this from, well, YMS. But Jesus Christ, these guys are unsettling. And plus, well, just check out YMS's video and he explains why they're so scary. Anyways, next one. Director of Spider-Man and Evil Dead comes drag me to hell. This PG-13 film has actually managed to creep me out with this death. His face is just horrifying. Anyway, next one. Ah, huh, James Wan actually managed to make something creepy. This bitch scared the living shit out of me. I'm out. Any more of this? I just, that picture just still creeps me out. You find on the players, but seriously, just no, just no. The quote and me from Spider-Man: The Eyes. I was a little bit creeped out of Gremlins as a kid, but seriously, this is just taking it too far. I know that basically a lot of people were also scared of Gremlins when you were young, but I understand why. This scared me more. Oh, for God's sake. The teaser trailer to Halloween 3, the eyes just creeped me out. Not only that, I also have this. Not only that, but here we are. We've finally reached the mouse. Mickey Mouse, in fact. And the one that I'm going to add on to this is two Pixar films and a Disney film. So yeah, let's go for Pixar. Hopper's death from a bug's life. This just haunts me. The acting is brilliant. And also the, this deleted scene from Cars, Lost. It creeped me out. Now it's Disney's turn. Pinocchio, this guy scared the living shit out of me. And also the Donkey Transformation scene. I saw this film on VHS and god damn it. Now it's time for your boy, Goosebumps. I love Goosebumps. For God's sake, I'm watching this as I edit. That's how, that's how much I love it. But, anyways. Anyways, I've got two examples of Goosebumps scaring me. And it goes with these two. The first one. There's Attack of the jack o -Lanterns. That twist really did creep me out. Another one is Bride of the Living Dummy. This ending haunted me for days. Now, it's your boy. It's your boy, Michael Jackson. His turn to be on the spotlight of things that scared me. You can obviously guess the first one, but maybe the second one you might remember. Obviously there's Thriller. Thriller is probably the most infamous of these. The thing is, the thing, well, it's really scary. And plus it scared me when I was younger. 
the opening with the werewolf and also the eyes. But the funny thing is it's directed by John Landis who made one of my favourites. One is Ghosts, which is an interesting case because I, I don't really know if that many people saw this music video. But yeah, this is probably why. Uh, I wonder if you can guess how many pounds were shat in when the kids saw this. Like all the kids. You can understand why. I love Diamond Bolt's videos and when he was doing a Jared of Drama I was excited until I saw this bit. Yeah, this really creeped me out and I couldn't really sleep that well that night. He mentions, and not like the word Mojo Kent. This is another odd one mentioned, and then you find out the one that really scared me. Okay, lightning round. This robot from Superman 3. It really just creeped me out. Next one. The Home Alone 2 teaser trailer. This face is horrifying. Technologic. The song's good, but this robot haunts me. THX. This sound haunts me, but the film was still good though. This sound from the PlayStation 2. I love the PlayStation 2, but come on. Uh, this woman from Scooby-Doo really creeped me out. Uh, Coraline. Of course the entire film scared me. I had a bad feeling. Uh, this episode of Tom and Jerry. This ending horrifying. This poster. This poster. This scene from Batman Arkham. And plus, I actually saw this scene from... Uh... Also, the villain in that film gonna creep me up, but anyway, it's still shit anyway. Oh yeah, also spiders, but I'm not gonna show any images of that because I'm scared. Now we get into the one that's super creepy. It's your boy. Pennywise. You could never have a childhood trauma playlist without this guy in it. This guy haunts me. Pennywise was a real prime example of basically my fear. This guy just scared me. It wasn't until I actually watched the film and found it hilarious. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Pennywise was one of the biggest fears as I was as a kid, but then I technically grew out of it. So the other ones were I still kind of weirded out by, but still, I was very happy to change. There was also another Goosebumps episode called My F Best Friend is Invisible, but I didn't want to show a picture of that. It just still kind of haunts me. So anyways, I'll see you soon, and... What the hell? What happened to the lights? Well, anyways, I'll see you next time. What's that sound? Uh, and remember, to be happy.